My name's Mike Bishop. I work for Land Rover Classic as a Land Rover specialist in there, the Mr. Land Rover. And I'm here today to support this fantastic event, 4x4, and the launch of the new Defender. So behind me is a 1962 model, Series 2 Land Rover, which happened to be owned by Steve McQueen, the very famous Hollywood actor. He had all kinds of vehicles, motorbikes, race cars, and he used his Land Rover to support that hobby. It was built in 1962, and Steve came out to London to film War of the Worlds, and he negotiated in his contract, instead of having a chauffeur driver, he was going to have a Land Rover for himself to drive. And then that Land Rover was shipped back here to LA, and then he used it all over the state, and it became this vehicle that really was the centre of his, uh, of his life. It did everything. It's got his production company's name on the door, his friend Von Dutch signed the vehicle. So this is a 1989 Range Rover Classic, which was part of the Great Divide expedition here in the States. And I was in total awe of the event and what the vehicles were doing. You can see in 1989, this was a fully specced, fully loaded Range Rover with leather interior, the standard alloy wheels and the standard tires. And one of the things that they wanted to show at that time was that this vehicle was more than capable of taking on an expedition. It is something that you can go out in and you can explore and you can take it into the wilds of the world. Yeah, it was a full four-wheel drive. So that vehicle over there is very interesting. That's Land Rover prototype number seven from 1948, and it's the vehicle that was used for launching Land Rover at the Amsterdam Motor Show. I was the build engineer on Land Rover number seven, where we brought it in to restore it, and it was found a mile from the factory a week after the previous Defender stopped production. It was in a really, really bad way. It sat in this, in this backyard for 30 years, with the, you know, the front fenders off and the motor in the rain, and so it needed a full rebuild. So I've owned about 60 Land Rovers, collected all kinds of iconic special models. So, you know, when a vehicle like this turns up, you know, I help authenticate this vehicle. I've done that in Australia with the first Range Rover, obviously number seven, all kinds of specials. And it always comes back to that connection between you, the vehicle, and the story. And that's, that's what I love about the brand, it's fantastic.